Hey there guys and guyesses, welcome back to my channel The Tarot and thank you for stopping by. So I'm back again with another stretching video, this time I shall be attempting to stretch my septum piercing. So a couple of weeks ago I attempted to stretch my tongue piercing from 9mm to 10mm and I did in fact film the whole process, so if you are wanting to check that out I will be leaving a link in the description box down below to that and I will also be leaving links in the description box down below to my previous septum stretches that I have filmed. So it has been about three years since I last stretched my septum piercing and I'm hoping because it has been such a long time since I last stretched my septum piercing that this stretch will be relatively simple and hassle free. Fingers crossed that will be the case but we'll just have to wait and see. I do generally find that my septum is a little bit harder to stretch than my tongue piercing so I don't know. I don't know if it'll be easy. I don't know if it'll be complicated. I'm hoping it'll be relatively simple. So in front of me, I've got everything that I need in order to stretch my septum. So I have my eight millimeter taper. I forgot to say, but actually currently my septum piercing is at seven millimeters and I will be attempting to stretch it to eight millimeters, which is the equivalent of zero gauge. So that's my concave taper, which I'm going to use to stretch my septum with. I have some lubrication. Again, like in the previous video, I am actually using Opti Lube because I didn't have any KY jelly and actually this helped really quite a lot with stretching my tongue piercing and so I'm using the same again because it seems to have worked so hopefully it'll work for my septum as well. And then I do also have a single flared tunnel for my septum piercing. So if you've seen any of my previous septum stretching videos, you'll probably notice that the jewellery I was using back then to now is slightly different. So in the videos back then, I used to use ball closure rings or captive bead rings. They're pretty much the same thing, which is basically a ring and then there was a little ball to close the ring to stop it from falling out. And I used to wear that in my septum, but I used to wear it without the ball on. And so basically it was almost like a circular barbell or a horseshoe, but it had much rounder edges. And I used to flip that up during the day and then wear it down the rest of the time when I was at home. Now I found that quite nice and easy to transition from after stretching my septum piercing with the taper to then putting the BCR in. It basically just connected quite nice and easily and it was quite an easy smooth transition. However, However, nowadays I actually just wear single flared eyelets or single flared tunnels. I will try and show you what that looks like in my nose at the moment because as you'll be able to see you can't actually see the jewellery in my septum piercing at the moment. It's a lot more subtle than the jewellery I was wearing back then and so the jewellery that I'm going to be trying to attempt to put in after hopefully a successful stretch is the same as what I'm wearing at the moment. It's just one millimetre thicker in diameter. So let me just try and show you my nose. Sorry, I have to pull quite funny faces in order for you to be actually be able to see the jewellery that I'm wearing at the moment. So the flare is actually, I believe, on this side. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can see it better from the other side, but basically I've got a single flare tunnel at the moment. I'll show you. There we go. So I've just taken that out. As you can see, it's basically just got a flare on one end and then no flares on the other end and so that's what I've been wearing at the moment because actually it's just really nice and discreet and it's really nice and light there's nothing heavy pulling on my septum and I can breathe very very easily it's basically as if I don't have the piercing but I quite like it every now and again people do realize that I've got it because they can see through my nose and I quite like the the difference from the other jewelry I did actually really like wearing the other jewelry because I quite liked feeling a little bit of heaviness to the jewelry that I wear in piercings but this one's quite nice because it's subtle but people every now and again do see that I have it so it's sort of like a hidden piercing that I've got which I quite like the aspect of that so as you'll be able to see you can see through my nose and I have to say the hole in my nose my septum piercing is actually very nice and round very nice and smooth which I really, really like. So anyway, now that I've shown you that, let's just hop straight into the actual stretching part of the video. So as I just mentioned, I've got my concave taper, I've got my jewellery and I've got my lubrication. So I am just going to open the taper. And I'm just going to pop it down. I've got a clean sheet in front of me. I'm just going to open the lubrication and I'm also going to open the jewellery so I've got everything ready. I'm hoping that this will be a successful stretch and I'll be able to put the single flared tunnel in afterwards. Now, because I haven't used this jewellery before, 
to stretch with or to put in after a fresh stretch. I don't know how easy slash difficult it will be compared to the BCRs, but I'm quite interested to see if it's easier or if it's a little bit more difficult. I have a feeling it'll be a little bit more difficult to get it in, but that's just my prediction. We'll see if that actually becomes a reality or not. So I'm just going to use lubrication now directly on the taper. Now, again, I'm using quite a lot and I will put a bit of excess on my septum piercing. I probably didn't need quite that much, but hey, it's better to have more lubrication than not enough when it comes to stretching, especially septum stretching and tongue stretching. So now it's going to look like I'm poking my nose, but actually I'm just putting the excess lubrication from the taper on my septum piercing. Now with my nose, I don't really necessarily have a preference to which side I stretch it. I think I'm going to go from right to left. I think I'll probably find that easier to then put the jewellery in. So hopefully this will go well. So I'm just going to go nice and slowly. I think my eyes are going to start watering, <laughs> which is quite usual. I do find, especially septum piercings, they are quite an eye-watering piercing at the best of times. And when you're stretching, it's definitely quite an eye-watering process. <laughs> So what I tend to do, especially with my septum piercing, is I just go a little bit at a time. I like to stop, take a, take a little while, and then continue stretching. So this is definitely going to be a slower stretch compared to my tongue piercing. I know it looks a little bit funny, but I'm pinching the bottom of my septum. I'm using my fingers pretty much as a brace to hold it still. So I can definitely feel a little bit of discomfort right now. I'm not 100% sure if it will stretch all the way because I did find that 7mm with regards to the jewellery and the hole size, it actually takes up the majority of the soft part of my septum. So above the sweet spot as it were, you've got the hard cartilage and below the sweet spot you've got the soft cartilage which is this bit which with both gives you the structure of your nose or the bottom of your nose and so you will have seen that for people who have really really large stretched septums that actually this part of the nose tends to be quite bulbous it tends to get pushed down at the moment i find that my piercing doesn't really do that with the size jewelry that i'm wearing in but i did debate for quite a while whether to actually stretch my septum up any more because I felt that seven millimeters was quite a good size and I wasn't sure if by going to eight millimeters if it would push this bottom part of my septum out more. As you can see, my eyes are definitely starting to to get more watery at this point. Okay, we are very, very close to the end now. Okay. Sorry, I'm producing quite a lot of uh, snot, <laughs> as it were. My nose is getting quite runny. 
so that should now actually be at eight millimeters I'm wiping my hands i've got a towel on my lap pretty much every time i stretch a piercing i will have a towel on my lap usually it's because i'm stretching my tongue piercing and that produces a lot of saliva and therefore the towel collects any saliva that drops but this time i've just got it again to help with any bodily fluid coming down okay so the hardest part is always lining this up and i think this is going to be a little bit more difficult as i mentioned in the previous septum stretching videos i've used different jewelry which the end of which would usually sit in the concave taper quite nice and smoothly whereas this this sits in it slightly but not a hundred percent okay i think it's going to be a bit difficult i don't want to try and push it through and it not be a hundred percent lined up correctly just because that will really mess it up and i'm wanting to get quite a good grip it's a lot easier to stretch your tongue i have to say because your nostrils get pushed out it's quite hard to get a good grip i've just got my thumb underneath the back of this to support it so i'm hoping in the next few minutes i can just push this through There we go. I've managed that. I'm going to push it all the way through. I like it so the flares are quite snug with the side. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Ooh. Okay. Oh my goodness, it looks so much bigger than the 7mm. Oh, flipping. You can see straight through that. That's crazy. So I know a millimetre can seem like a lot and sometimes it doesn't seem like a lot. But really with that, it looks massive. Oh my golly gosh. That's absolutely massive. Compared to the seven millimetres, obviously people have a lot bigger than this. Some people go really, really big. But for me, that really does look big. Wow, look at that. You can see straight through that. Crazy! <laughs> so again, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you did enjoy this video, then please leave it a thumbs up. If you have any questions relating to this particular septum stretch, or just stretching in general, then please ask away in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them, and hopefully I shall be seeing you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.